so hello guys welcome back to the channel of course my name is Eunice if you're new here uh, of course this is actually pride as well so guys we're in the kitchen and we're going to have something really 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 yummy for lunch so guys we're going to have good stew so right here is, this is actually a whole thigh I think you can see this <laughs> that's a whole thigh plus um, cassava and I'm, today I'm going to make this cassava in a very different way like I'm going to, I don't know, because I even don't know how it's called in English. So just wait and see how it's made. Hmm? I, can't even, I can't even say it in English. But in my language, it's guanguana. <laughs> and actually out there, please let me know <laughs> if you're there. Because I know you've understood what I've said. So guys, for people who don't understand the language, don't worry. I'm sure I'm here to show you this step by step. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut this into some... He says, I don't like them so tiny after all, so let me just cut them very fast and then I show you how this is cooked. So this one is drinking the water. Yes, that's just cooking oil. And you can notice the water is almost draining. Guys, for God's stew, I prefer it with a lot of tomatoes. It will help me thicken the soup. I think you're going to notice at the end. Oh. Tomatoes are there, getting ready, making the food very colorful. So 
so guys team corn boot here we go <laughs> instead of calling it corn guana by the way, it's best called as corn boot guys this right here the cassava that i'm going to prepare today is best called corn boot boot like boot <laughs> sounds funny <laughs> Guys, you can see how the tomatoes have made the soup looks really nice. At this point, I'm going to add in the water to cook it now. It has to boil until it gets soft and until the, the soup drains to a good level. And then also this, I have my rosemary. Guys, uh, it's a dry season here by the way. So I just plucked it and kept it in the house. But I'm sure when it starts raining, if I water what is out, it's still going to to grow again. That is how it always happens in dry seasons. I pluck it and just keep it dry. But when it's rainy season, I use it fresh. So I'm just going to add this a bit here. I like it so much in God's stew. Yeah, here we go. So that when the sauce gets ready, the cassava will also be ready and boom, we'll just be in things. Time to eat. Yeah, that's what I like most. Put this. Wow. Just looking so nice. Have a look at this. Just as thick as I like it. And of course the aroma from the rosemary. Mm. No words will describe this. So guys, let me just keep this here and wait for the cassava to get ready. And then of course we shall eat. Okay, I think I can even switch it here because this is hotter than the other one. Alright. Alright, so cassava is actually ready. As you can see right there. And you know this one has to get ready in a way that you feel like it's overcooked. Eh? That is when you know it is actually properly now. Like ready for mingling as you can see. This now feels like it's overcooked but it's just the best one now for mingling guys. Guess what? Eunice has finished to cook. <laughs> Let's do this. This avoids sticking when you touch it in water. Like that. even wait to eat this guys because this is a very delicious meal and you know what i won't even waste any single one minute again after this i just want to cut this off like this and drop it on my plate and here we go ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm super excited for this meal guys. this is really tasty
and you know this one is really soft like smooth the cassava is smooth you know you don't even have to chew it like you just dip in the soup hmm? too hot <laughs> just dip in the soup and in seconds you swallow Ooh. so guys if you're not subscribed please make it a point to subscribe right after this video guys and you're surely going to have more of such interesting videos with me right here <laughs> thank you for watching